everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to the Armor Bear Awakening. Today is a great day because God created it and he had you in mind and you are destined to be where you are called to be this very day. And I just release heaven's blessing over your life. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe, send it to some other people. Uh, and again, I encourage you to get a, I don't care if it's one or two people from your department in the church or others, sit down and start making it, doing a little small group, uh, do a little discipleship group and use these videos. Go into YouTube, uh, to my channel and start watching eight minutes strong with the armor bear uh, and watch, uh, it's only 16 minutes. So watch two of them and then go back and talk, discuss. The, the truths, I look at the scriptures and go over them and let these truths get on the inside of you. And I just believe, I tell you what it'll do, it'll radically change you. Plus, it's going to change those who are listening and you're going to get others involved. It's the greatest way to start a wonderful armor bearer discipleship group. Uh, I am talking today, I'm really sharing about the Apostle Paul and his passion and about keeping the priorities right. We are in a time, uh, it's very critical. We're watching what's happening in Israel. We're watching what's happening in America. And you're watching all the nations coming against Israel. I know this last week, America, our government uh, told Israel, you cannot do what in the South, what you've done in the North. You're, you don't have the credit to do this. Well, you know, you look and you go, why are we doing that? Well, uh, they're ignorant, bottom line. And, and when you look at what's going on, but prophetically, God said this stuff is going to happen. So we are in a new season. We're in a, a new time period with God. And so what is God saying to us? Uh, as I was praying the other day, I just really... You know, the Holy Spirit directs you. This started coming out of me uh, where Paul wrote in uh, Philippians chapter three and he started naming all the stuff. He said, I, I'm a uh, from the tribe of Benjamin. I was a Pharisee among the Pharisees. I had all this. He said, but I count it as nothing but a bunch of dung. It's nothing but manure. It means nothing for the, 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 the price that I'm paying to experience him. And God wants to do something new in your life. This is, this is an anointing. There's an anointing on this broadcast and, and there's an anointing that's being released and your heart is, is crying out. Some of you have gone through the thick and the mud and you feel like you've been beat to death by ministry. Hey, been there, bought the t-shirt. I can say ministry will kill you. It will. Uh, because you look at Christian people and you think, you know, they're supposed to act like Jesus and they act like the devil. And so what happens is that just, it destroys you in your mindset. But one of the things that Man, I know in my own life is that whoever I've worked for, the people I preach for, I can't get my eyes on them. I have to look at him and I have to go toward him. If we're going to change and if we're going to see uh, God do something in the earth and God to use us, it's right here in verse number nine of Philippians chapter three. I want you to listen to what Paul said. He said, my passion is to be consumed with him and not cling to my own righteousness based on the key, keeping of the written law. Now, what he's saying is my passion is to be consumed. I mean, radically consumed with Jesus. There's a difference between passion and mission. Passion is Jesus for us. Mission is our assignment. It's what we do because we love, because we have passion for Jesus. Because we have passion for Jesus, we have a mission for people. It, my passion for Jesus is the fire that keeps going in my, 
in my heart and in my, in my loins and in my body to move me toward helping people. It is my passion for Jesus Christ and what he's done for me. And Paul knew that and he, all the stuff he went through and he saw great success, but man, he also walked through incredible persecution, something none of us have ever gone through. There's only a few people on the planet probably that have ever suffered to the degree that he suffered. He was beaten four or five times with a cat of nine tails. I mean, he was stoned to death. He was uh, left in a shipwreck in the in the deep. But one thing he knew, he knew God would never forsake him. And he had a passion. He goes, you know what? My passion is you. My mission is your assignment that you gave me. And I tell you, I'm not, the, the thing I've learned is I'm going to keep the passion and the fire bright. And he said, and it's not a based on my performance. My passion for Jesus and my, and his love for me is not based on my performance, what I've done. Yet he did incredible things. But I want you to notice what he says here. My own righteousness will be his based on the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. The very righteousness that comes from God, the right standing, the love, the performance that I have, that I, the things that I've done is not based. God doesn't love me based on what I've done. God loves me based on what he did. And Paul knew that. And he was like, man, I'm undone with this stuff. I, I tell you, I'm elated. I'm going to get up. And he said, and I continually long to know the wonders of Jesus and to experience the overpowering, overflowing power of his resurrection working in me. Oh my gosh, what a sermon. Uh, receive this today. Your passion is Jesus. Your mission is your assignment. Something good's going to happen to you.